The U.S. Supreme Court orders a review of obstruction charges for former President Trump and the January 6th defendants. This is Dr. David Shine, and welcome to Business Law 101. I would place this case third out of the many major decisions for the 23-24 SCOTUS term. That is due to the impact that it may have on cases pending against the former president, as well as the numerous January 6th defendants. It is estimated that at least half the January 6th defendants were charged with obstructing an official proceeding. However, Chief Justice John Roberts stated, the government must establish that the defendant impaired the, abil the availability or integrity for use in an official proceeding of records, documents, objects, or other things used in an official proceeding or attempted to do so. He was joined by the other conservative justices, except Amy Conan Barrett. On the other hand, liberal justice Kentenshi Brown Jackson sided with the conservative majority. Interesting to switch there. The plaintiff in this case is Joseph Fisher, a former police officer. He was in the Capitol on January 6th and was charged with obstructing an official proceeding. Fisher's lawyer argued that Congress passed the 2002 anti-obstruction law in response to the financial scandal that led to the collapse of Enron. He successfully argued that the law was intended to prevent destroying or altering documents. Many will recall that part of the Enron scandal was that employees of the now defunct Arthur Anderson accounting firm destroyed many boxes of accounting records. The firm was charged with criminal violations, but the conviction was reversed on appeal since it was determined to not have been illegal at the time that the employees of Arthur Anderson destroyed the work files. This is Dr. David D. Shine for Business Law 101. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite platform.